time in a moment, you're going to meet Keebler. He's a happy, sweet dog. Two weeks ago, he was a stray. And while his history is unclear, his future is almost certain. Like most dogs, Keebler loves ear scratches and treats. But what sets him apart is the way he gets around. Good job. Friday, the eight year old dachshund navigated the Humane Society for Greater Nashua on his new wheels. This wheelchair gives him a second chance at life. This is a game changer for him in so many ways. Almost two weeks ago, he was found on the side of the road by someone who noticed he wasn't able to use his rear legs. Keebler's condition is similar to a herniated disc. Only in his case, it probably happened quite a while ago, and there's been quite a lot of damage to his spinal cord. Thinking there was nothing they could do, less than a week ago, the Humane Society considered euthanizing him. A call to handicappedpets.com changed everything. And it was sort of out of the blue, and um, it seemed like a great opportunity to, to help this guy. The Amherst based company donated its Walk and Wheels dog chair a value of almost $200. Keebler wasted no time getting used to it. Most of the time we see what we saw right here. The dog gets in it and is immediately up and running. He is flying and it is so great to know that we can do this. Um, I don't really have words. But before Keebler finds a permanent home, he'll need some more help. He needs eye surgery and has dental disease. The Humane Society started a GoFundMe page to raise $2,500 needed for operations and x rays. We're hoping to get that done in the next 10 days or so, and then he'll be ready to go to his new home. With his mobility back and surrounded by lots of love and care, Keebler's on the path to recovery. As soon as people find out that dogs can live happy, healthy lives in walking wheels, then, then it becomes a no-brainer. It's, hey, I can spend another couple of years with my best friend. At last check, $275 have been raised on the GoFundMe page. If you'd like to donate, visit this story on WMUR.com. We'll post a link to the fundraiser page. Reporting live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.